Tonight's five star story is about one of the top rated businesses and tourist attractions in the, the Bluff City celebrating 30 years of barbecue and blues. That's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> Kim Clark shows you how Blue City Cafe's recipe for good food and good times keeps rolling on iconic Beale Street. <laughs> Music is a mainstay on Beale Street, and you'll find plenty of that in the Blue City Cafe's band box. On this night, the Brad Bergadal Band took center stage, one of hundreds of acts, world-renowned and local, that have played here to the head-bobbing delight of audiences. Cafe actually opened in March of 1991, but under a different name, Joe's Eat Place. Two years later, a group of investors bought the restaurant and changed the name. It was really busy at Doe's, you know, and it's busy now. And while it's the music that likely extends many patrons' visit to Blue City, it's the food that draws most. Chef cooks the best ribs in the world. And uh, the catfish is tender baby catfish fillets, lightly breaded and seasoned cornmeal and deep fried. And Chef Larry makes gumbo. It's, it's, it's really excellent gumbo. Edgar Smith should know he's been a server at Blue City Cafe since the beginning. And adds that, while tourists are important to the restaurant's success, it's the local repeat customers who are the lifeblood. I waited on a table last uh, Wednesday and it was a four-generation table. They're my regulars. They've been coming in since 1991. And the great-grandchild proposed to his fiancée down in the VIP. But it was four generations. And while the food is top-notch, service from the likes of Smith and others is also an important part of Blue City's winning recipe. Lonnie Yates, who says he's the oldest surfer in the place, was begged out of retirement by the owners after more than 40 years at the rendezvous. And like I told Bo, when I said, you just won because you know I'm a good worker and I've been working down there and I'm well known, he says, that's right. Yates has been with Blue City Cafe for 16 years and says it's a well-oiled machine that feels like family. And we want people to come back here because our food is good. We have, you know, we have good quality cooks back there who work who spend a lot of time in preparing the food, the people who are in the back, to all the way up front. And it makes the restaurant go real smooth. And who knows, while licking your fingers after the last bite of tender, flavorful ribs, you might even find yourself a little starstruck from the famous faces who've been known to grace the tables. So I've waited on presidents, I've waited on Bill Clinton. Uh, just the other week I waited on Robert Plant, that's right there, he's doing an album here in town. Uh, one night I was on this table where you're at, was Medea, and she was uh, Tyler Perry, not Medea, but Tyler Perry. And at the same time, down in the VIP room was um, Mick Jaggers. Blue City Cafe, the spot to see or be seen as you put some self in your mouth. Another reason we're proud to call this place home. On Beale Street, Kim Clark, Action News 5. And Blue City Cafe has been featured on Bobby Flay's Food Network show and Taste of America on the Travel Channel, as well as publications like Bon Appetit and PS Magazines. For more information about Blue City Cafe, click on the link to this story on our website, actionnews5.com.